<clears throat> Yo, what's going on, Sexy Simulator Squad? We're playing Ao Kuang. I know I haven't played Ao Kuang in years, and that's not an exaggeration. It's actually, I think last time I played Ao Kuang was like 2017. Um, I just don't think he's very good in duel. But I'm hoping that I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hoping that maybe there's a chance that he just comes out on top and completely slams everyone with the new Telekines ring and um and you know demonic and toxic blade and all these all these good auto attack items that are out right now since the last time I played him I think hopefully he's pretty good I know Trelly had some success with him in duel um but Trelly also really likes out Kwong. That being said, I did used to really enjoy out Kwong. Uh, I actually have the world record on out Kwong for most wins in a row, which is 74. Um, but that was right when he came out. You know, that was that was way back when, before people knew how to just beat his ass because he can't clear. You know. <laughs> now everyone knows. Oh. Oh Kwong, let's just clear. Let's just let's just hit the minion wave. You'll be fine. Your middle tower is under attack. But we'll see, dude. Maybe. I'm hoping there's some kind of secret Illuminati shit that happens this game that lets me win. I'm actually not clearing poorly right now. I'm not fighting poorly either. I'm gonna back though, because I'm completely out of mana, because I picked up the uh, the speed buff rather than the blue buff. I like speed buff more than blue buff on Alcron though. <laughs> Alright, I'm level 5, he's level 4. He has shell and his shield. So, whatever fight might look good, it could be bad. Just keep that in mind. It, it could. There's definitely an option to where it's not what it seems, you know? <laughs> so just keep that in mind. It could be risky. Alright, he's backing right now to get Golden Blood, I assume. I can back for... What can I back for? Finish Bancroft's? I don't want to lose red buff is my only concern. I can burst red buff with my two here though, maybe. Very nice. All right, we bursted red, now we back. Get our Bancrofts, grab a mana pot and head back out. All right, you know what? This is really good. I think late game Alquang wins. Versus almost anyone, other than like a hunter, like on her or Hoi or whatever. But anyone that's not a hunter, I think late game Aokuang shreds. So I'm hoping the same is against Nemesis. Hoping I just shred him late game, and as long as I maintain, um, what's it called? The momentum that I have right now. It's looking like a dub, dude. And dubs are nice. I like dubs. Double use. Can I blink over this wall? I can. He altered me, but he has no mana. Why would he do that? I don't know. Um, but first blood goes our way. He altered me with no mana to do anything else. <clears throat> and I'm full mana, full HP out long with finished Bancrofts. You never win that fight. This planet will soon I don't know. be peaceful once again. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what his plan was, but I do know that I just finished boots. I'm going full lifesteal build, by the way, like... Like Typhons and 
Um, Lifesteal boots, Bancrofts, probably not Polynomicon, but definitely the Shaman's Ring variant of the, the thing, the item. What is that called? What is that ring called? Um, Ring of Hecate. 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 Maybe that's how you say it. Holy shit. There's a lot of damage. <laughs> I think Ring is probably my next item here. Telekines or Hakate. I'm not sure. It depends on if... Uh, honestly, if I can back and afford a full Typhons, then I definitely will. But that's a big ask. It's much better to just get tier 2 ring, I think. <laughs> He's going Toxic Blade right now. That's fine. I could also go Toxic Blade because the fact that he heals 100% of what the damage his shield absorbs, but I think him having an extra 500 HP with a maxed out shield against an Aokuang late game actually doesn't matter. He knows he can't fight. Okay. I really don't understand these fights. He just... It's like he just expects to win by default. Like I'm not gonna... Like I'm not gonna hit him back. But I'm definitely gonna punch him in the head. That's just... That's just how it goes. I mean... If you run at me throwing fists... I'm going to throw one back. Let's see. Almost has that Toxic Blade online. He needs to be more careful. He's not as strong as he thinks he is. Damn. I did alt off his shield, so I thought maybe there was a chance that I could just kill him. But. Lo and behold, I am mistaken. He just finished Toxic Blade. <laughs> he doesn't have finished Toxic Blade. Not yet, at least. I have so much lifesteal that any kind of poke that he does to me quite literally doesn't matter. I'm getting a lot of these stutters, I think, because I'm rendering uh, my Try Hard Thursday right now. It's a 10 gigabyte file that I'm rendering, so... My computer's working pretty hard! Recording, rendering a 10 gig file... And playing Smite... And having a muted stream in the background that I should probably close, maybe. Definitely blink. I like blink a lot here. If he dashes past me, I could blink, alt his shield away, and just combo him with autos. <clears throat> All right. So basically, what I'm led to believe without Kwong is that the way you build him is full power, or I'm sorry, full anti heal, oh, fuck, full lifesteal and attack speed. He just dashed in and got executed. He doesn't have beads. I think once he has beads, it might be a different story, but as of right now, he keeps dashing in and getting completely clobbered by Execute. Also, I still had Shell up too, so. Oh, 
I think next item is probably Telekines. He's not maxing his shield. He just used his shield. And I didn't hit it at all. And it was like, it was like 100 HP tops. That is a mistake. Okay. Well, we got his shell and we got his bracer there. I don't know why the hell he got bracer instead of beads. But... If it leads to a potentially easier win for the Alquang, I am all about it. How much is Telekines? 27? That's a lot, but... Okay. I think I just control everything on the map right now. Like, anything I want to go to, I just take it. He never wins a fight against me. He's getting some defense right now, so... Maybe that's promising. I mean, like, what the fuck? He, he definitely should have won that fight, right? But then I just... I press 2 and all of a sudden he loses the fight wholeheartedly. I definitely should be taking Phoenix right now, by the way. I didn't know I had a minion wave there. Fuck. It's fine. The full Telekines. Soon they will learn not to disrespect me. He got some defense. I don't think it matters too much. My next item is going to be... It's between a Typhons or Demonic or Toxic. Between those three. Toxic is obviously good because of his shield. Demonic is obviously good because it's, it has Pan and he has defense. And um, what was the other item I said? Do you remember? No? Toxic, demonic... Huh? I don't know. I guess it wasn't that good. Because if it was that good, I would have remembered it, I assume. All right, now you guys are going to see what Aokong is known for in Duel. His Bull Demon Clear. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. It just shreds. Like, it, there's no reason that you should be able to take no damage and kill it before it does its second slam. And yet, here we are. Why are you pushing my tower? Your tower what are you doing? I'm gonna end you. <laughs> Alright, tower down. Let me sit here and do this with my very fast attack speed. Alright. <laughs> Go back to hitting tower, I guess. This, that's what I'm talking about, by the way. Like, anti-heal would be nice for his shield, but I don't think I absolutely need it. Because I just do so much damage. His extra 500 HP doesn't matter. I mean, I can definitely see why Anthony had some success with this god, but 
this god also just straight up fucking loses to on her or something. Alright. And Titan damage. Do, 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 do. Okay, he has six. I mean, hey, what can I say? I'm I'm proud of the gameplay. Because I never play out Kwong, nor do I ever win if I do play out Kwong. So I'm proud of it. And I hope that this shines some light on potential matchups you can win without Kwong and how to play it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.